The NBA on 2K Sports. It's the Portland Trailblazers and the Chicago Bulls. Ready to go? Ready to go? And Portland starts out with the ball. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Portland. Porter is out there with Drexel. Then there's Kersey. Then it's Williams. And it's Duckworth in at the five, roaming the paint. Kersey against Pippen. Just five to shoot. Here's Drexler. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Drexler's got the opening basket of the game for Portland. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Outside Jordan. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Cartwright right with a screen on Duck. And a wide open look for Jordan. Rebound by Williams. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure he appreciated it. There's 154 left to play in the first. Jordan with it. Now guarded by Porter. Jordan kicks to Grant. No good from outside. Here's Drexler. The shot is off. Good work defensively by Pippen. Here's Jordan. And misses it off the right side of the rim. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. On the wing, Williams. Kersey with the screen on Grant. From deep, Drexler. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. Drexler's got five. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Pippen. And he bangs it home with one hand. Let's call him a speed merchant. I mean, he was a blur going in for that throwdown. Porter against Paxson. Duckworth sets a screen. Porter passes to Drexler. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. He has seven. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. Jordan against Drexler. Goes up on the wing. And Jordan gets it to go. Twenty-nine seconds left to play here in the first. Porter against Paxson. There's a screen by Williams. Trexler drives in. Wide open. The shot will not go. Now here's Jordan. With one on the clock, drilled it right as the clock hit all zeros. Wow, what a clutch shot. He's got nerves of steel. Woo. Gotta have big... Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And for Portland, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? You know, you can tell right now, this team's on the same page. They are right where they want to be offensively. Well, finding scores on time and on target with your passes, it makes scoring the ball easy for them. Pippen is out there with Grant. Then it's B.J. Armstrong. Then it's Purdue. And it's Jordan in at the two-guard spot. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Bulls on D. They trail by one. Petrovic with the pass to Drexler. Feeds it to Bryant, and he jams it with authority. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Hey, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Chicago shooting their first free throws of the game. And he makes the first. Michael Jordan. Two shots. And 
in, so Jordan nails both of them. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. He lobs up the alley pass and finished off by Robinson. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. High post shot. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Michael Jordan. And so here's Portland. Ainge dishes to Drexler. Here's Robinson. And there's the whistle fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. This is his first free throw of the game. And he can't get the first one. That one misses. It's Jordan on the wing. Drexler defender. Jordan's shot is off. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean... He has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. And there's the call. Chicago the foul. The Trailblazers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That free throw, no good. That's off as well, so he misses both. Chicago with the ball. They trail by one. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Purdue the screen. Jumper off the screen. Robinson with the block. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for Purdue. Livingston comes in for Grant. John Paxson, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Hodges subbed in for B.J. Armstrong. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Duckworth, he's checked in for Bryant. Williams comes in for Robinson. Jerome Kersey's checked in for Clyde Drexler. And it's Porter in for Petrovich. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead if they can keep getting to the free throw line. Grant, he's checked in for Chicago. Jordan comes in for Hodges. Outside Jordan, from deep, that drops. Jordan's got 11 points. You know, he's putting on an outstanding offensive display, and he may just be getting warmed up here. Porter kicks to Williams. Ains the pass to Duckworth. Takes the 13-footer, and he gets the bucket. Duckworth's got his first points of the game. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Yeah, they're cracking. Absolutely cracking and looking to pad that lead. It's Pippen on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Jackson kicks to Jordan. Shot on the wing. No good. Good D by Ainge. Now Porter fires from deep. No good trying to beat the button. And so it's a close game as we... Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Well, Jordan had a great quarter. He's got 11 points and a block. He's carrying them right now. He scored over half of their points. It's a one-man show, guys. On the court for the Trailblazers... Duckworth is out there with Buck Williams, and it's Drexler. Then there's Kersey, and it's Porter in at the one spot. Here's Jordan. Shot is off. Now Portland takes it the other way. And Jordan sends it back. That doesn't go either for Jordan. Portland leading. Out in his own on the break. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way, that's um, exactly how you want to do it. Outside Pippen. Flanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Pippen's got his second basket. Porter against Paxson. Pass to Kersey. 
and the rejection by Pippen. And they're able to recover. Here's Porter. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. And the Trailblazers lead by four. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. You know, I think he just wants to tinker with the game plan a, a little bit. And I think that's a wise timeout. And part of it, too, Greg, was he saw some things going on out there that hey. he didn't care for. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Will Purdue's checked in for Cartwright. Livingston comes in for Horace Grant. Hodges checked in for Scotty Pippen. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Baxson. Percy against Jordan. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. Percy against Hodges. Drexler kicks to Porter. Pass to Kersey. Robinson goes in, and it's blocked, and he recovers it. And that one is stuffed right through. 55 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Jordan, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Kersey passes to Porter. Wants to get it to Bryant and does. Second shot opportunity. Got a hand on it. And with the time left, they still can go two for one. Boy, they've got to do it fast. They must hurry from here. And, and the road back into this game wasn't a short one, but they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. And, Greg, I've got to admit to you, I mean, I did not think they were going to get all the way back. I thought they were done. But they've shown some serious resilience and character to battle this far back. That is an elegant move to drop in the floater there, guys. Armstrong dishes to Jordan. Got it off in time. No good on that last second attempt there. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Grant is out there with Cartwright then there's Pippen then it's Jordan and it's Paxson in at the one so that's the five in the game for Chicago kicks to Drexler count the bucket Drexler's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Portland bad time for these defenders to be standing around watching not while the ball's in his hand. The drive by Jordan. Here's Grant. Kevin Duckworth with the rebound. Portland leading by four. Inside. Cartwright with it. Poked away. Here is Paxson. Outside Pippen. It's Jordan on the wing. Five on the clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Ainge against Pippen. Left side Williams. Here's Drexler. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Now it's a six-point trailblazer lead. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Chicago calls timeout. They're losing by six. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. He told us, guys, I know we can do this, fellas. Let's maximize every possession and get after it and just watch. Things will go our way. Kevin? Always great to hear from you, Doris. time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're ahead by four. A minute 42 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Drexler. Drexler drawing the double team. 
A three ball. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. Jackson against Ainge. Drexler outside. And it's blocked. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And it's Jordan with the jam. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. And guys, mark that play right there because that could be the one that leads to a surge to break this thing wide open. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're up by two. 109 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the Bulls making a change here. Armstrong's checked in. Portland also making some changes. Jerome Kersey's checked in for Petrovic. And it's Porter in for Ainge. Drexler against Jordan. Out to the wing. And there's Porter on the assist by Drexler. And the Trailblazers lead by four. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Drexler against Jordan. Goes up the baseline. Connects! And he has brought them to within two points. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. And Portland with the ball. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. 35 seconds left in the fourth. He kicks to Grant. To tie it up. Rebounded by Duckworth. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Drexler with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Drexler drawing the double team. Just five to shoot. There's Porter with the three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. For the win. Oh, that shot at a chance, but no good. And so the big win by Portland in a tight game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now we present the Jordan.